Hey guys, and welcome back to Spooky Island with a Queen of Reaction. So today, I'm here reacting to BTS's fake love dance practice. Now, you're probably wondering, George, why are you reacting to something that is so old? I thought you were a big BTS fan, and I am indeed. I have been a fan for quite a while, um, and I am currently away when you're watching this, which is why I'm reacting to this now. Uh, my plan is to try and get some videos pre-recorded for when I'm away. Uh, I'm away for a couple of weeks, so instead of letting the channel die and there be no videos and people wondering what has happened, um, I thought I would pre-record some videos of older stuff that I haven't been able to react to on the channel and actually watch myself. Um, so here we are. I'm a massive fan of BTS, like I said. Fake Love is one of my favourite songs, uh, and I have never been able and never really had a chance to be able to to watch the dance practice uh for this because when i started doing dance practices i kind of stopped watching them unless i was reacting to them um so i kind of haven't been able to 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 watch a lot of these older ones um because i've kind of like been like oh do i watch it you know be cool and then i'm like mm, maybe i don't because then i can make a video of it and react to it with you guys which is exactly what i'm doing here i love this song like i said um, and I think them as, you know, dancers are, they are incredible. So I'm here reacting to a song that is six years old this year, I believe. Um, and a dance practice that is as old as well. I'm excited. I, I don't really know what to expect. Obviously, I've seen them perform this choreography before at their concerts and stuff. I've never actually been to one, but, you know, I've seen them do it. But I've never actually seen this dance practice video, which I think are always important to me. Because it's the first time that they've actually, you know, kind of released uh, the, the choreography and, and the dancing itself. Um, and I think it's always exciting to, to kind of see them as a group uh, perform like this. You know, it's not always, especially now, there kind of seems to be less and less dance practices where it is literally just the camera filming and dancing. There is a lot of movement and a lot of um, exciting camera work and a lot of new dance practices. So... I kind of like it um, even more when it is literally just the camera and you can just see them, you know, it's not the camera's following them around or it's a moving version as, as some groups call it. Um, this is a classic old school dance like this and I'm all here for it. So without further ado, let's get into it, let's do it. Look at the, the intro. And if you're wondering who my uh, favourite member of the BTS is, you might know if you've seen some videos before. If you haven't, you can check those out in the BTS playlist. My favourite is J-Hope. Look how much running, did you see how much running he went? He, he just did to get back into position. I love this delayed part, it's so good. My man J Hope, he goes in. I love that. The outfit's are very, very old school as well. It's, it's, it's actually very cool to see. That was very cool. That transition was sick. My favourite part of the song. Oh, that was, that was sick! Jimin did that so smooth. I've tried to do that before and it is not easy. Like, I feel like my legs break um, when, when that kind of move happens. But the fact he's done that within a couple of seconds and got straight back up is, is insane. Can I just say, Jimin's the only one dancing in jeans, I think. That is like... Oh, I love this bit! 
Oh, that's so smooth. Yeah, it does in the jeans, it is not. It's not easy. But when you're a man as talented as him, there is no factor of um of of something that's gonna hinder his talent. So good. <laughs> this, oh, honestly, I'm getting goosebumps. Look, you can't see. I'm actually getting goosebumps. This song is insane. I hope it's only a solo. I thought I, I thought he was gonna get his own little solo then. Very, very cool. Man, I don't know what to say, I really don't. Is it, it really is insane. Um that dance practice is genuinely might be one of my favorites i've ever seen um just from the fact that the choreography is so so advanced like this is bts in 2018 2018 this is six years ago like it's, it is insane it really really is um there are so many things that stand out there and them as a group they dance so well together it's not a fact that obviously they have their main dancers they're, they're dancers who are more um you know catered to dancing but in in general they are such a good group like they are so talented at, at dancing they really really are um the choreography for that that song is so good like they are they are it's just insane like i genuinely have no words I have no other words to describe them. Um, the song is, is insane. It has so many different levels. It's such a kind of complex and uh, layered song. And the choreography is exactly that, which is why every move that they do is is either, you know, really, really big and really, really passionate and, and their performances is supposed to be that. Or it's, you know, the, the very, very subtle moves of where, you know, they're standing together and they're waiting. It's... it's about also them telling a story um through their uh, music and especially their, their dancing which a lot of groups if any you don't see now it's incredible i love it well done bts please come back um next year thank you i hope you guys enjoyed thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys soon take care